Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month. I am saying that to all the signs because it really is very special. I do think that when we reflect back on 2020 and all the very powerful things taking place this year, I do think that June is going to stand out for many reasons. And they have to, of course, do with the very powerful astrological events taking place. The least of which is an extended eclipse season. It starts June 5th. That is when we are going to have the first of a series of eclipses taking place. Now, one series is happening now, normally, we get two eclipses back to back, two weeks apart. This time we're getting three eclipses, which means we'll have two this month and another in July. And it also means that the eclipse season itself is extended. And this represents the veil between the worlds becoming especially thin now. It becomes that much easier to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out in your life. This first eclipse is a lunar eclipse happening on the fifth of the month in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships it has to do with group alliances and it is a particularly lofty part of the sky it is one of welcoming in big opportunity but here's the thing lunar eclipses tend to suggest emotional truth that lends itself to closure and considering that this lunar eclipse is part of what astrologers call a T-square, which is a larger configuration that holds a whole lot of energy, it holds tension but also motivation and indicates more meaningful change or at least the desire and the actions that spur meaningful change, well really action is key here. One of the planets involved in this larger configuration is a retrograde Venus in fellow air sign Gemini. And then there's Mars being an intimate part of what is transpiring now. And all of this does suggest that your passions may be running high. Your frustration may be high as well where it comes to your participation in a group, where it comes to how it is that dynamics are playing out between you and others. Possibly this energy could also be playing out with a friend. Now there's a real opportunity here. For some of you, yes, the energy will run high. There may be a sense of some urgency as well. And that really is because of Mars. Mars right now is moving through a financial part of the sky for you. And so a sky like this says, be very mindful of mixing friends and money. But the one thing about eclipses though, is that they are honest, that's for sure. They help us to recognize the truth of what we really feel. And if you're willing to listen to your intuition, then you'll know the right way forward for you. And so yes, a friendship dynamic, a group dynamic may change at this time. A particular group dynamic may feel like it is coming to an end, but it can also be a time that expands your horizons, that helps you to understand what opportunities you want to say yes to, but also what opportunities may not be right for you. And that is where you want to listen to your intuition as well. If you're being asked to participate in a group endeavor, but the financial piece isn't there, well, how do you really feel about that? Are you willing to do the work with hope that it may translate into bigger opportunity in the fullness of time or not? This will be part of your exploration now. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it will be on the 21st on the summer solstice that we will have a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. This has to do with the work you're doing, the people who surround you there, which I know is a hit or miss depending on where you are on the planet and your level of social distancing taking place now. It has to do with your tasks, your clients, your customers, your immediate supervisors. This part of the sky also connects to your health related habits, how well you are taking care of you. And this solar eclipse is the last of a series of eclipses that has been taking place in this part of the sky for the better part of the last two years. Your work in some way has changed, whether it is how you approach it, whether it is what you're doing, whether it is 
whom it is is part of the work that you're doing. There has been moments where you have been invited to move forward, to make changes, to welcome in new people, or to close certain doors. With a solar eclipse at the very beginning of the sign, it does suggest a new opportunity, new possibilities, but it is a seed. It is the very beginning now, but it absolutely has potential to blossom and to carry momentum. New opportunities for work, new people to connect with for your sense of satisfaction in the work that you do, or just an overall sense of busyness as you move through your day becomes possible now. For some, it can be this new moon that brings in new habits, particularly health-related habits that help you feel better almost immediately. Another thing to keep in mind with this solar eclipse is that just days before, Mercury is going to go retrograde in the same part of the sky. And what that means is as much as eclipses can bring new opportunities or new beginnings seemingly out of nowhere, the fact that Mercury is retrograde in the same part of the sky does suggest that this could be an opportunity that has come back around in some way, that there's something familiar about it, maybe people that you already know are a part of this, or it is also possible that health-related habits that you used to have, that you let go, now you're ready to pick up again. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus is retrograde for most of the month, but will turn direct on the 25th of the month. And that is going to bring real clarity in the context of love. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, I do think that this month, the energy of reconnecting with people is that much more likely. If it has felt like someone is in the ether, but it hasn't really become anything solid, as Venus goes direct, you will know where it is you stand and whether or not this is someone that you think there is potential there with. It could be that you hear from someone again that you haven't heard from in a while, and you'll get a chance to get another look to see if there could be something here. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that Venus going direct is going to be a wake up of some kind, you realizing who this person is. With a very all or nothing kind of energy this month, it becomes that much more heightened at this time. And so either you'll be all in or you'll see something that will make you realize you're ready to go in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, if it has felt as if the love that you desire to awaken, to rekindle, to know, if it has felt elusive, at least Venus going direct is going to help you to feel more connected on a heart level with your partner. It is also going to be Venus direct that ultimately helps the two of you to put behind perhaps some matters that maybe haven't been so clear, especially when I reflect on the sky of May. It is now that you may start to feel like you are moving forward closer together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I have barely scratched the surface here. There is so much in this very powerful month. As we move towards the last days of the month, Mars will move into a very communicative part of your sky. Now, normally Mars moves into a particular part of the sky for about seven weeks every two years or so. What's happening now though, is that Mars is going to be in this part of the sky for seven months, a nice long stay. And that of course is because the larger Mars retrograde season will be starting once we head into July, going retrograde in the fall. I will be here to talk about it every step of the way, but, the larger season, that sense of your mind awakening, that sense of you having so much to talk about, so much to write, so much to say, all of that start to awaken for you now. And we end the month with Jupiter meeting Pluto in the sky. This is the second of three meetings. Expect your unconscious to be especially powerful, especially vivid. Where possible, get out of the way. Do some stream of consciousness, expression, art, writing, whatever it is. It is there that you will connect with your power. And it is ultimately a month like this that is going to help you to understand who your people are, whom it is you're connected to, how much those genuine connections mean, and where it is that you've grown, you've evolved, and you're ready to grow in new directions. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.